Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. And if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. All right, so we are kicking off with the company Ripple has made once again into the fintech 250 most impressive companies. I mean, is it a surprise, really? I, I, I don't think so, right? I mean, at the end of the day, we have to acknowledge that what this company is doing is phenomenal. And the financial services industry continues to attract tech companies that transform how people and businesses spend, save, borrow, invest, and more. And that's why Ripple was, you know, once again, part of the 250. Now, here's, a, here's, a, here's an idea, a concept, a thought from the serpent. Once the case settles, an IPO from Ripple will be announced. I mean, not straight away, right? Not the day of the settlement. But, you know, within a couple of weeks, you know, Ripple will make the announcement that they will IPO. And then, and then I'll go further and actually say that the Ripple IPO will be the end of the bull run. Just like when the Coinbase IPO happened and that was the peak of Bitcoin's price back in April. Wild theory, but I wanted to kick off with that because that, that could well be happening with all the, everything that has been going on, the ETFs that have been delayed, you know, some of them until December. I think this bull run will continue into January and potentially, potentially into, um, you know, your February and March, but definitely into January. That's, that's something that is definitely going to be, uh, to be happening. And what's really, really fascinating at the moment is to, obviously, you know, we've woken up uh, today with uh, Bitcoin uh, um, rising really, really fast. And we'll go over the numbers today. But look, some of the num some of the companies that were mentioned here in the top 250 are phenomenal businesses that are doing some really, really amazing things. And in the crypto space, I'm just going to try and zoom in for you. You know, in the crypto space, you've got here some, some of these companies that are, that are there as well. And you may not recognize some of them. You, you may not recognize uh, some of them as well. But it is awesome to have Ripple as part of this uh, 250. Now, the XRP Ledger transaction can now be initiated offline. So what is XPOP, you may ask? Well, I had the same, um, I had the same thing as well first time I heard it. So developers of the XRP Ledger Labs, a software studio that addresses XRPL-based digital payment solutions, demonstrated the concept of their offline instrument for XRP transaction based on QR codes. So no internet needed for XRPL transfers. Whoa, that is cool. That is really, really, really cool. So according to a presentation demonstrated by XRPL Labs at the Apex Developer Summit, its team created a viable prototype of the system that allows users to initiate XRP transfers offline. That is cool. That is really cool really cool because there's a lot that you can do with that. So I'll be very interested to see how this evolves and how this you know, will be eventually adopted in the future. And as XRPL aims to solve the chicken and the egg problem. So we started with 100% focus at the end of the users of the ecosystem. And we feel that it's time to start focusing on retail as well. So XPOP is one of the, the useful developments for future retail adoption and for the entire ecosystem. I mean, this is cool, right? This, this is where disruption begins. And I think, you know, 2021 has seen adoption. And I think in 2022, we start to see mass adoption. And then by 2023, we see disruption of industries, like flipped. The next two to three years are going to be massive for the world. It will change. It will be fast, and a lot of people are going to be left behind. Just don't be one of them. So six new crypto billionaires joined the 2021 Forbes 400. I mean, is it any surprise? Then we're going to see a lot more of this. We're going to see a hell of a lot more of this. Now, here's why XRP price will skyrocket to $15. I mean, this is really, really interesting from FX Street, you know, like to, to have stuff like this. Now, XRP price is forming a cup and handle pattern on a weekly time frame, hinting at a bullish breakout to $15. The RSI and MACD also present supporting evidence of a slightly optimistic outlook. Wow, FX Street, this is big. 
this is really, really big from them. I mean, you don't see this, um, you don't see this too often from you know an organization of this, you know, to to talk about to talk about this. And and I mean, when I when I look at this chart, I just smile whenever somebody messages me and says XRP is a bad coin, XRP is a scam. They they got nothing going on for years. You wait, you wait. The entire XRP community, be patient, be humble, wait, let them laugh, let them talk, let them giggle, let them talk about you like they talk about me. Just patience. You know what you're holding. I know what I'm holding. Experts know what's about to happen. So just be patient. It's all coming. It's all coming. But you do need patience because that is really, really, really important. And again, it's not financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor, but when FX3 start to talk about $15, I get really, really, really excited. Now, all I said on Ripple lawsuit as crypto mum condemns SEC policy. It is disconcerting to me that three years now, I've been asking for regulatory clarity and we can't seem to provide any. So that's you know the latest thing that we were talking about. And uh, it's, um, it's really, really cool. To, to, to see this and of course I mean you know like we all want to know what is it and what isn't right so that we can have some clarity and get a better understanding so that the whole industry can push forward what is it how does it work like just give us the answer so that the whole industry can be better off for it so I can't wait I cannot wait for this uh, um, uh, case to be over I like what Sirhan did here um, Bitcoin teeth on uh, on Twitter you know, he drew a similar a similar chart to, to the FX Street chart. Um, I, I just get really, really excited when I see this because, you know, it is literally a ticking ticking time bomb. Now, Dark Defender as well, you know, he's gone on as well to do this and to talk about, you know, the um, exponential moving average are so very close to each other and this indication that a strong price action is income. And yes, a very, very, very strong price action is on its way and I cannot wait for it. The other thing here is I like what CoinSkid has done, the XRP, the bulls go up the stairs and I love that, right? I mean, yes, you know, when you see this, but from whichever way you look at it, whether you zoom out like the FX Street style one and just zoom out for the bigger pictures from 2018 or whether you go with a more short-term approach to the, to the cup and handle that has been going on, from whichever angle you look at this, this is bullish. I don't care how skeptical you are of XRP, but charts don't lie. Like people lie, numbers no, do not lie. And this is pre prepping itself for a gigantic run. Let's jump into a tiny. Let's have a look at some indicators. Now, as we begin to look at the charts, what's really, really important to analyze from these charts is that while Bitcoin is pumping and going really, really, really well, the old coins will take a suffering. Now, of course, we have some which are doing better than others. And of course, we have a meme coin that is currently melting the, the market. Now, of course, please, you know, as you know, I don't talk about meme coins on the channel, never will. And if you are in them, enjoy the run, enjoy the run that you're having, and then at some stage, flip it into something that's actually worthwhile. That is my personal opinion. Again, you do you do what, what you want at the end of the day, but for me, I see no benefit in having meme coins, apart from making money and then flip it into something that's actually worthwhile. And if you have been, congratulations. That's awesome. I always want you guys to, to do well. Now, when it comes to the, um, to the prices, when we're, what we're looking at, how it's going, how it's performing. These are great times and great opportunities to um, stack up on your old coins. Doesn't matter which old coin it is, you know, including XRP, because the while the market is pumping money into um, something like Bitcoin, then it does give you the opportunity for your favorite old coins to get them at better rates. So first Bitcoin, then Ethereum, then old coins, right? That's that's the the pattern that that it follows. 
So right now, looking on the hourly and looking that, you know, the price is starting to drop, you know, it's gone all the way from $1.08 at the time of making this, you know, down to now $1.05, it will continue to go down. And it's just uh, normal that what, what's going on at the moment. And when I look here, I can see that, you know, like we were outside the Bollinger Band, we're now back almost in the middle of the Bollinger Band. And But what's really, really fascinating is that the moving averages are getting closer and closer and closer together. A price explosion is about to happen. When we look over here, are we gonna go to 103 again before we start to reverse and start to go up? Probably, maybe even touch these two, these two lines. So the Bollinger Band and the moving average 50 at a dollar one is also not out of the question. Anything is possible at the moment with those two, um, with, with the price action at the moment when you analyze the hourly and the four hour. When you look out though, zooming out and you look at the 12 hour bullish and you look at the daily bullish, as I mentioned yesterday. So at the time that I made the video, but before I made the video, I, uh, I looked and then by the time my video went live, the price had already started to dip because on the, tw on the one hour and the four hour, it looked bearish and it happened. Then we went back up a little bit and now we're going back down again. And I do think that we will, once we find this particular bottom, then the price action will really kick off in a very, very big way and get us well over, way past the 110 and support above 110 and then continue to push forward. But it's important to patience, analyze and really, really be critical during these times. And if you can't make up your mind, best thing to do is make no move. Sometimes no move is a good move. A very, 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 very good move. Let's have a look at some charts. Now the break and retest has already happened. That's why we, we know now where we're at right now, you know, dollar five or dollar three, anything like that, it doesn't matter because we've had the break and we've had the retest of the break and now the next stop is, is 1.30. So what we're focusing on right now is looking at how we get there and how quickly we go there. But from a, from a price action point of view, we, you know, if you want to wait, then wait to be above 110 and consolidation, consolidating above 110 because the next price target that we move towards once we have that confirmation is we will be moving, uh, moving towards going to 220. If you want to be sure, then you wait for 110 and reversal. If you want to take a risk right now at a dollar four, a dollar three, whatever we end up on, then it's up to you, of course trade uh, 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 with caution and only put in where you can afford to lose. And remember, it's one person's opinion, not financial advice. Now, I like this particular chart and the way this is looking right now. And I think that, that you know it will follow it very simple to this. And I think the next uh, stop, once we get that confirmation above 110, is that we're gonna be making our way towards $2. And then as I zoom out further and look towards the end of the month, then you know that 340, 380, um, I think we'll get very, very close and just go above it just as the month is about to end. So it'll be right, right until the end, which means that we still have quite a lot of days to go, but I think we'll be close like 30th, 31st, we will see that break. And then November is going to be legendary. And when I look at the XRP versus Bitcoin chart, it is a ticking time bomb. The, the bulls for XRP are coming and they're gonna come fast. If you learned something new today, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thank you and I look forward to see you on the next one.